Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, parentheses 7 minus 13x to the third minus 11x, and parentheses, new parentheses, 2x to the third plus 8 minus 4x to the fifth. Okay. Well, what I like to do, I'm going to do two steps at once, okay? Uh, I notice that both the parentheses we can't simplify with in the parentheses, but I'm going to make all of my subtractions be adding a negative. I prefer that. So these, I'm going to write 7 plus a negative 13x to the third plus a negative 11x. Then I'm going to distribute this minus sign across. And But when I do that, I make everything adding a negative. So subtracting a 2x to the third is adding a negative 2x to the third. Subtracting an 8 is adding a negative 8. Subtracting a negative 4x to the 5th is adding a positive 4x to the 5th. Okay? So now I have all addition here, and they're positive negative numbers in different degrees. Let's reorder this to add the highest degree first. Highest degree is the 5th power. It's 4x to the 5th. So I'm going to write 4x to the 5th here. And I'm going to put a dot underneath there to say that I've brought that term down. I don't see any fifth power, so we go fourth power, nothing to the fourth power, third power, I see two. Okay? I have the negative 13x to the third, so we have plus a negative 13x to the third right there, I put a dot there, dot right here, the other one, plus a negative 2x to the third. Uh, I don't see anything else to the third, so next power, second power, nothing left, first power, 11, right, the negative 11x uh, to the first power, so we have plus a negative 11x to the first power. And then nothing else with just x, so we have our two constants. We add 7 right there, and add a negative 8. Okay. Double check the bell went down, just making sure here. I'll put a dot there for negative 8. 7 right there, negative 13x, great, and negative 11x, fantastic, negative 2x to the third, negative 8, and 4x to the fifth. Got them all. <clears throat> Didn't forget anything. No one was left behind. So now it's combined like terms. There's nothing uh, for x to the fifth, so we just write 4x to the fifth here. Negative 13x to the third plus a negative 2x to the third is a uh, negative 15x to the third. Nothing but just 11x, so we have plus 11x here. And then 7 plus a negative 8 is a negative 1. Now I'm going to rewrite this, though. Rewrite it to have, uh, instead of adding a negative subtraction for the final answer, kind of bring it back down with subtraction, make it look nice. So 4x to the fifth minus 15x to the third, minus 11x, minus 1, and there we have it. We have our final answer here. So let's recap. We have 7 minus 13x to the third, minus 11x, and then parentheses, minus uh, parentheses, 2x to the third, plus 8, minus 4x to the fifth, and parentheses. I made everything out of a negative, and so distributed the minus sign, the subtraction sign. Then I rearranged my like, uh, highest degree first, like, ter uh, like terms first, and then I I use the dot method here to double check, make sure I brought everything down, and I just double checked as well. Always good to make sure you write everything uh, to the next line. Then I combine my like terms, and after I combine my like terms here, I made my adding and negative to subtractions uh, because I think it looked nicer for our final answer. And our final answer here being 4x to the fifth minus 15x to the third minus 11x minus 